Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. This is Saturday Toy Discussion Episode 10. This is Big 10. We have 10 episodes now. We are growing on this series. Looking fantastic. This is going to be a loaded episode. You ain't going to want to miss. In these videos, we do a rewind. We take a look back at the previous week. What happened in my world? Give you an idea what I picked up, what I found. It's a great way to connect with my subscribers. So let's get started. My first pickup, obviously, is what's in front of you. This is a G.I. Joe Classified Series Action Marine Sniper from the 60th anniversary line, and they are fantastic action figures. They offer three additional head sculpts. I love these two. I had to have two to represent my Joes. They look fantastic together. We have our Native American. We have our Caucasian White with that ball cap. Mike, that's sick. And I may pick up a third one just to have that boonie head. You really definitely can uh, check out um, how cool these really are. When you have all three of them in front of you, they look amazing. Also got this from Hasbro. Paul says the G.I. Joe Classified Series 60th Anniversary. The Halo Jumper. The Action Pilot. Halo stands for High Altitude Low Opening, if you didn't know. Don't forget to take a look out for this upcoming uh, review. It's going to be really awesome. I'm going to do a comparison with him and the uh, Snipers. And you know what time it is. It's Big Bad Toy Store Power Loot time. And I'm going to say I'm loving my Power Loot. Let's check it out. First up in my Power Loot is G.I. Joe Classified. Retro Series Stalker, looking amazing. Very cool, awesome. And I think I went down a rabbit hole on these ones, boys. Let me know what you think. How many are you gonna get? So uh, from Big Pass Toy Store's Power Loot, I have 12 Cobra Troopers, awesome. Yeah, these are pretty sick. I got some work ahead of me opening all these bad boys. And I'm going to say I'm highly happy with these. I probably might even pick up some more in the future. But this is a good start. Next up, I got my Captain Rex from my Power Loot. He looks pretty awesome. Been on prayer for a while. Throwing in my loot. Now he's mine. Moving on to my Masters of the Universe Masterverse pickup. This is probably one of the coolest and evilest lines I've ever seen. Well, I should say wave, not the whole line, but this is one incredible version of Merman. This looks amazing. I love those eyes. They look fantastic. Very, very cool. Cannot wait to get him open. And I have a great idea with him. I'll probably share with him in a different video. He's going to look amazing on my shelf. And if anybody's going to do that Merman figure, it's going to be this bottle armor skeleton with that ram horns helmet. I cannot wait to see him on the upcoming Panther. He is going to look sick. We definitely need for Mattel to make these snake men, all these different ones on his packaging, look absolutely just sick. Very cool. And those weapons he comes with, oh man. You can use those for anybody, but he looks a killer with Skeletor. What's in the box, boys? Here we have the Masters of the Universe Masterverse Skeletor and Havoc Throne. I must say, this is a heavy box. This is pretty cool. It's upside down. Pretty nice. It comes in a nice brown box. If you definitely want to keep the uh, overall packaging or Skeletor in the packaging, you have an option now. A little ding there, but who cares? I'm opening mine anyway. And here's what that amazing box looks like. Wow, this is pretty sweet. This is the front of the packaging. Looking absolutely amazing. I really hope they make a uh, Skeletor, uh, or I'm just saying Steak Mountain for Skeletor's throne because that'd be really cool. There's Panthor. Oh, I cannot wait to get him. And we'll love to get the bird. And we'll definitely have a new Evil Inn coming up here. Very soon for Massiverse. And the artwork on this box is just sick. Look at that. Beastman and Merman. Oh, loving it. Loving the top of this box. Makes you want to scream out Cobra. But I know that's a different lore. So I grabbed this from Big Bad Toy Store. It was like 10 bucks. It's pretty awesome. This is Captain America. Stealth Captain America, I think it's a call. But obviously, I had to have him because I'm working on something. And that black. 
Captain America outfit. It's just sick. It's going to go perfectly with what I'm trying to work on. Which I'll probably be working on something to do a future video of. But I'm putting a team together. And I need this version of Captain America. And for 10 bucks, it's well worth it. Alright boys, you know what time it is. It's time for some punishment. This is War Journal The Punisher and Bushwhacker 2-Pack. And this is something I've been looking forward to. The Punisher looks amazing. Very cool pickup. Can't wait to dig into this one. And quoting one of my favorite lines from one of my favorite movies, Friday. Holy moly donut shop. Look at that juggernaut, boys. Whew. I was able to grab this. Missed it the first time around. I guess this is kind of a re-release. It's been sitting in my pile for like 90 days. But man, if I knew how awesome it was, I'd have sent for him a long time ago. Awesome. Simply just awesome. So from Target, I grabbed this. I was surprised to see this at Target. This is the uh, Metalhead. It was only like 32 bucks. I thought it was more than that when it came out, but scored a great deal. There was only one box is beat up, but I've been wanting to pick this up. I guess it's a great opportunity too for the price. All right, so I decided to do a Ross run. It's pretty cool. It's a tongue twister. And I've seen these. I was on the fence with some of these because, you know, of the overall quality, but look at this. This is sick. I'm not sure they even go together, but they come off real nice. But the best part of this was the price. Check this out. What? Really? 99 cents? 99 cents? They go together well. Sold. So I'm a hunt for the new Sonic 3 figures. I'm looking for Shadow and Tails. Scored Tails. Um, they're very hard to find. I've seen like three Sonics. If anybody's interested in the overall what's out there. Shadows, man, they're tough. Tails are just as tough. Got lucky, only seen one tells. Snagged it up, you're like 14 bucks, 14.99 or something like that. All right, I know what you guys are waiting for. You're waiting for the Ollie's pickups. They got new legends. We have the Elena Belovia, 9.99. Very cool. Very excited for these. Um, definitely now interested in building that Hydra Stomper. It's going to be built here on this channel if I ever get all the parts. So don't forget to check these videos out so you don't miss out. Grab this Gamora, obviously looking for that Hydra. Stomper part $9.99 at Ollie's. Pretty cool nonetheless. I uh, wasn't really wanting it. I passed on a couple times until they started putting out the other figures to build the Hydra Stomper. And now I'm all in. And then I grabbed Tellos. Pretty cool. Definitely has another part for the Hydra Stomper. Um, I didn't see the Nick Fury. I didn't see this person. Or. Yeah, so I'm still need those. I'm not sure if they're going to show up in Ollie's, but I'm hoping they do so I can finish my build a figure. So we have a new wave showing up at Ollie's too. This is the one. Um, this is what the uh, Hulk figure build a figure. This is Commander Rogers. I like that head sculpt. He looks very mean. Very cool. And the build a figure on this is the totally awesome Hulk. I think they're all there. I've seen other videos of Captain Marvel. I'm not sure if we've seen Photon. Miss Marvel, definitely. Marvel's Boy and Karnik. Yeah. Commander Rogers. There's probably all going to show up in all these over time. And here's Marvel Boy. 9.99. He has a piece of the Hulk too. So we'll see where these goes. Uh, see if we can get them all at all these or not for 9.99 a piece. And build that um, totally awesome Hulk. Cool. Alright, last but not least. Got some Hot Wheels I picked up this week. Just here and there. Don't remember where I picked them up. They're just sold everywhere. So you just grab whatever where you see it. The average are all about the same price. Putting a buck. 19, buck 25. Pretty cool. Loving these ones right here. These are my faves. Very cool. And don't ask me why. I do love these tuned out cars. I think they're awesome. It's definitely something different for your collection. So I grab them when I see them. Alright guys. So I'll leave you a look at my favorite ladies here. I'm telling you what. I had a great week. Um, things are wonderful and when you're collecting action figures right now hope you guys like this review or this video if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe comment down below so you don't miss out as you can see here i'm starting to prep up for my new